So in this video in particular, I really want to pose the question here and have a constructive conversation on, is AI really going to kill Etsy? All right, guys, so I recently posted this video here of how I was showing people that you can basically use AI to help you design some Halloween themed coloring pages that you can sell on Etsy as digital downloads. What I realized there is actually quite a few Etsy sellers out there that are really, really against the use of AI generation in Etsy shops. We got comments in here like clear betrayal to artists. I've been watching your videos for a while, I'm so let down. As a fine artist, this is so disappointing and toxic unsubbed. Well, first of all, I want to clarify, I don't sell digital downloads. I don't even do print on demand. I don't do any low barrier of entry business model. I just make videos on it because I know how to do it. And a lot of people ask me about it in my comments section. But with that being said, I think this opens up a really, really good debate for all Etsy merchants or the future of the next generation of Etsy merchants. If you know me and you've been watched, if you follow my videos, you'll see that I love a good debate in the comment section. I think getting pushback and having, you know, constructive conversations helps us actually become better entrepreneurs. And it makes us think in ways that we never thought about before about our businesses. So I'm not saying go and spread hate in the comment section, but getting constructive criticism is a really positive thing in my opinion, like 100%. That's why in this video, I really wanted to open up that conversation about artificial intelligence and the use of it in Etsy businesses specifically. And I'm going to share my personal opinion, but I'm also super curious to hear what all everyone else's opinion is down below. And now this is not, giving you guys free reign to just be bullies in the comment section and be mean, right? That's not what the comment section is for, right? You can have a constructive conversation and you can have your opinions and respectfully disagree with people without being hateful or mean. Let's not do that. Personally, what do I think about artificial intelligence in the video or maybe just by the thumbnail, people automatically assumed that I was saying completely take out the creativeness of your business and your design work and just replace it with AI. That's not what I'm suggesting at all. Moreover, I think that actually would hurt you if you completely just relied on artificial intelligence to produce designs for your business. I think that would actually be really bad. But what I am seeing and what I am seeing a lot of already successful sellers doing is they're figuring out ways to integrate AI into their design processes or speeding up their internal processes of launching listings. So I met one girl that doesn't completely rely on AI, similar to how I showed in the video, but she uses the AI to spark ideas for her future designs, and it speeds up the design time immensely for her. And there's new technology in the world, and when there are things changing and they're changing at a rapid pace, it's in your best interest as a business owner to, even if you completely disagree with it, like someone commented in, my, in the comments, they completely disagree with it, me talking about it is promoting it and they just completely don't even wanna hear about it, right? But in my opinion, when you're a business owner and there's some new form of technology or a faster or a better way, not necessarily that it's better yet, but potentially a, a threat that, that it could be better than you one day, it's in your best interest to not be negligent as a business owner and have a full understanding of its capability, especially if it's a threat to you. So I'm not saying to go out and completely really replace your whole design team or even if you're your only designer with AI generated things. That's a, not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's in your best interest as a business owner to protect your business and understand what's out there. So one of the responses that I said was, sorry for the letdown. I personally don't sell POD or digital assets. I'm just sharing how you could run a shop with the aid of this, which unfortunately is what's going to happen in the upcoming years. So sellers in these spaces can either change and grow with the times or they can get drowned out. So it's inevitable that it's coming. So you might as well to choose to swim instead of sink. And they responded, you're promoting them on your YouTube channel. Just because something is fundamentally wrong is bound to happen. 
doesn't mean that you should get on board. Promote it and then promote it to others. That's like saying climate change is inevitable, so I might as well promote fossil fuels. Just because you can sell something doesn't mean you should. We all have a choice. And I agree with you, you shouldn't just do something just because it's inevitable, right? I 100% uh, agree. But right where I, where I respectfully disagree is with the idea that AI is fundamentally wrong, right? And so that's the key difference in my personal opinion. And what I'm saying is, is I don't, I don't think if you're using AI to aid your, your work in your business on Etsy is fundamentally wrong. I think that eventually, if you don't integrate some form of artificial intelligence into your business model and know how to use it, you will get drowned out eventually. So if you want to compete in these spaces, it's in your best interest to understand, maybe don't use it, but at least have an understanding of the threat that's out there that is going to eventually work against you. What's scary about AI is that all this design stuff and is, this is only the first generation of it, right? In the next year, the next two, three years, right? It actually is probably gonna be better than us. So that is a huge threat to your business, especially if your business is design heavy, selling POD or digital downloads. So if you have a store working at a max capacity, but now you have another store that is also working at its max capacity, but with the use of AI, the outflow of what this shop is gonna be able to produce versus yours is just gonna be significantly higher. And it's important to understand that that is probably what's coming in these types of spaces. How I would correlate this to my own business is like, Say there was a machine that came out with that with one press of a button, it could literally print the same product that I'm hand producing with the use of employees, basically. There's many, many steps that go into manufacturing our products, especially in-house in America. We manufacture everything here. But let's say now a competitor down the street just bought a machine to basically produce the same thing as us. And with one click of a button, they can not only produce more, but they can produce more variation of what we're selling. Now all of a sudden that business just became so much more competitive. So even if we're working at our complete max in our business, this guy's always gonna beat us, right? So it's in our best interest to be educated on what is out there. Another example, to the example of the climate change, I would argue that it is not comparable to climate change at all, right? Technology is coming and it's coming fast. It's kind of like choosing a landline over an iPhone when the iPhone came out, right? But now an iPhone comes with a lot of pros, but there's also a lot of negatives that comes with having that much power in your hand. But are you gonna choose the iPhone or are you gonna choose the landline? If you get hired by an employer and you don't know how to use a laptop because you decided that it was evil and you were never gonna touch it, it's probably gonna be really hard for you to get a job. In that case scenario, it's, actually more beneficial to adopt and learn, or at least learn and know what's out there, especially when it's a direct threat to your business. Guys, overall, my videos are not meant to make anyone upset, not at all. And I'm really sorry if it did offend some people that I was sharing, you know, the use of AI um, to help you with your business. But again, it is my true belief that it is more, it is more beneficial for you to under, have an understanding of what's out there than not, especially with the upcoming years and what's to come in the tech world. Overall guys, I'm really excited to hear what you think about this in the comment section and be nice, right? We're, I will see you guys in the comment section. Bye.